Did you go crazy? 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 Our Apple Tree by Gorel Christiana Nashund, illustrated by Christian Digman. Our Apple Tree. All winter long, our apple tree rests, but not everyone is asleep. Nut hatches look for little bugs under the tree's bark. Pheasants and blackbirds eat last year's apples, still lying frozen on the ground. When spring comes, our apple tree wakes up. Pink buds and white blossoms show that it is ready to make apples again. Bees come to visit, flying from blossom to blossom. They visit every apple tree for miles around. Every day the bees gather sweet nectar and dusty pollen. Each night they go home to make honey and feed their babies. Wherever the bees go, they take some pollen and leave some pollen behind. And soon the blossoms begin to turn into the tiniest apples, all soft and downy. In the warm sun, the apples grow bigger and bigger. Our apple tree is hard at work. All summer long, all over the world, other apple trees are growing apples too. Some apples are golden, some are pink, some have stripes, some blush. Every apple has a name of its own. This kind is called delicious. Doesn't it look delicious? Once you start eating an apple, it's hard to stop. Crunch, crunch, you're at the core. The seeds nestle inside. Every seed could be an apple tree, like ours are someday. The apples are still growing and ripening on our apple tree, and apple trees everywhere. But soon, very soon, it will be time to make apple art, and apple sauce, and apple pie. We could even have an apple party for all our friends. Everyone likes apples. It's autumn. Our apple tree has a wonderful gift for us. The apples are ripe. We'll pick some and eat some and store, store some away. As soon as the last apple is safe inside, cold winds begin to blow. The leaves fall from our tired apple tree. And then it's time to rest again and dream of next year's apples. Our apple tree. Juju gone crazy.